All right, we have got a fun day planned today. I'm going to take you along with us. We are heading towards Nicholasville, Kentucky, which is not too far from Lexington. Probably about, I would say, a couple of hours from where I sit right now. I'm currently in my office. Uh, this is where I make my videos, um, do my voiceovers, do all the editing right here. So I wanted to start the video out here today. There's a few things I'm going to do. Uh, we are going to make our way to that cemetery. There's some famous graves in there that I'm wanting to visit. I want to take you all along with me. A uh, few things first. I am going to make a stop on the way to get this mop of a haircut, get this mop of a hairdo cut. Uh, and then Angel is a big fan of... Crumble cookies. Have you ever had crumble cookies? Well, anytime we're around Lexington, yeah, it's a mandatory stop for that. But once we get done with that out of the way, we're heading towards that cemetery. I'm going to put my uh, iPad on here real quick, and so you'll probably see a glare in my glasses. Do you all recognize the name Harry Dean Stanton? If you don't recognize the name, which I probably wouldn't have myself, I would say that you will know his most, I would say, most popular movie. Has anyone here ever seen The Green Mile? If you remember in The Green Mile, when right before, normally the night before an execution, they would run through and do a practice run. Well, Harry Dean Stanton appeared as one of the prisoners for one of those practice runs. If you remember, and people will still say this today. Let me turn that off, get that glare out of my glasses. People will still say this today, walking the mile, I'm walking the mile. When they were taking their last walk on the green mile in that movie, he was the character that kept saying that, I'm walking the mile, walking the mile. And when they get to the practice run, he starts cracking all these jokes and making everybody laugh. And, you know, eventually they bring it back down to earth. But he was a great character actor. And that is just the tip of the movies that he appeared in, very popular he passed away a few years ago, and I really, and maybe I had read this before, I don't know, I really did not know that he was buried in Kentucky. So I'm going there today to try to find his grave. Also, there's another grave or two in there. I know that there is a pretty popular bluegrass musician buried there. I'm not a huge bluegrass fan. I know that may get me thrown out of the state of Kentucky, but that's really, I mean, it's okay. But I would like to visit uh, his grave also. So we'll see what we can find. And I wanted to start out here, and we will kind of go through the day. I am so glad to have you with me. Let's go find the grave. And the name of the cemetery, let me pull this back up real quick. Bluegrass Memorial Gardens and Mausoleum in Nicholasville, Kentucky, which not too far from here, but you know it's going to take a little bit of a drive. So we're going to go check that out. So thankful to have you with me. Let's go to Bluegrass Memorial Gardens and Mausoleum in Nicholasville, Kentucky. Well, I got the haircut and we made it to Crumble Cookie, so uh, we are definitely ready for a cemetery tour. So we have made it to Bluegrass Memorial Gardens and Mausoleum here in Nicholasville, Kentucky, just outside of Lexington. We're going to find the grave of Harry Dean Stanton, the actor, and also any of you Bluegrass fans out there, a real popular name in that field, J.D. Crow, I believe is buried in the mausoleum here. So we're going to go visit the grave of Harry Dean Stanton and also J.D. Crow. It is currently in November and I can't believe how beautiful it is out here. Normally in Kentucky, we get all four seasons here. So normally in Kentucky, things start cooling down and in November and I won't say it hasn't cooled down, but I'll say this, it is a beautiful day and I would have to say unseasonably warm. This cemetery is very well manicured. It's a pretty place. That's very peaceful. I mean, we're just outside of a, a pretty large city. So, you know, I'm kind of surprised at how peaceful it is, but a beautiful place. Let's see what we can find. Like I said, we're going to go up to the grave of 
Harry Dean Stanton. Go check out the grave of J.D. Crow. But I want to show you some of the grounds as well because it's a pretty place. And I know I have some followers, some viewers from Kentucky, but most of you all are not from here. So I'm going to show you what a cemetery out here looks like. And like I said, we're close to a pretty big city, but uh, just on the outskirts, I guess you would say. But a beautiful place for a cemetery. Just a wonderful, beautiful day. Harry Dean Stanton was born in West Irvine, Kentucky on July 14, 1926. Much like a lot of Kentuckians in those days, he was born to a tobacco farmer. He attended Lafayette High School and the University of Kentucky, and he was a natural talent. He could write, he could sing, he could act. He chose to go into acting because, according to his words, if he went into acting, then he could do all three. He would actually leave the university and go into acting. He would study at the Pasadena Playhouse in California. He would take a time out of all of this and serve in the United States Navy during World War II. He would begin making television appearances in the mid-1950s and would make his film debut in 1957. He would build an impressive resume. Film critic Roger Ebert once stated that any film with Harry Dean Stanton in a supporting role could not be altogether bad. That's a pretty impressive compliment. Just a few of his film appearances, Cool Hand Luke, Kelly's Heroes, The Godfather Part Two, Alien, Paris, Texas, Red Dawn, Fire Down Below, and of course, The Green Mile. He would also sing and tour on occasion. Harry Dean Stanton passed away on September 15th 2017 at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. He was 91. One thing that I like to do, and really I do this a lot on my videos, is uh, the main focus here today is Harry Dean Stanton, but like I said, we're going to visit the grave or the final resting place of J.D. Crow also. One thing I like to do though, as I make these videos, I like to ask, have any of you all heard of either of these two people that we are visiting today? Harry Dean Stanton, the actor, or J.D. Crow, the famous bluegrass musician. Just curious, leave me a comment below. I would love to know whether or not you have heard of those people. I'm making my way down the road to the mausoleum. J.D. Crow is supposedly in Garden Mausoleum Number 3. Now, I don't know if that's a section in here, or if that's the actual mausoleum. I know this, I'm on the grounds here, I'm looking around. This is the only mausoleum that I am seeing. There may be more on around the, the way there that perhaps I'm not seeing, but we're gonna give this a try and see if this is it. Garden mausoleum number three to visit the final resting place of J.D. Crow. Let me flip this around here. I'm walking up the steps into this side entrance don't know if this is it or not but we'll check it out and give it a try garden mausoleum number three is what we're looking for and you can see my reflection there i try not to show myself in these reflections but sometimes it happens I'm just walking through the way here not quite sure if this is the right one or not. And this one is pretty dark. I'm sure there's some lights in here we can turn on if we need to, but a little dark in here. Okay, so I'm just walking outside of the mausoleum that I was just in. That's definitely not it. I looked around the way here, just out to the, uh, the back of where I was, and I am thinking that his final resting place is in one of these outdoor 
structures over here. It's the only other one I'm seeing. I couldn't see it from the other way that I went in, but when I looked out to the back of that, I see an outdoor mausoleum. You can see it there. And I am just thinking he's probably over here somewhere. So we'll go over here, check it out and see what we can find. It's one thing about doing these videos, and a lot of people don't realize this is, and all of you cemetery channels out there will know what I'm talking about. It, well, even if you don't have a channel, all you cemetery visitors, things don't always go according to plan. And sometimes what you think is going to be a quick video ends up being not so quick because sometimes things are hard to find. And I think this is probably it, but I'm not sure. I'll look around the, uh, the mausoleum here. We'll see what we can find. He may not be a household name everywhere, but in Kentucky and in the bluegrass music world, he was a legend. J.D. Crow was a musician specializing in the banjo. He formed his bluegrass group, J.D. Crow and the New South, and actually led the group from 1971 until his death. He was born on August 27, 1937 in Lexington, Kentucky, and recorded with another bluegrass legend, Jimmy Martin. Crow has an impressive list of achievements, including the Bluegrass Star Award, which was given to him by the Bluegrass Heritage Foundation for advancing traditional bluegrass music to new audiences. He would pass away on December 24th, 2021, at the age of 84. Well, we had one that was relatively easy to find and one took a little bit of work but not too bad so so thankful you chose to join me on this video as we took a look at the lives of a couple of the people here that are buried in bluegrass memorial gardens here in nicholasville kentucky links to my website and my patreon will be in the description another video of mine will be on the screen soon it is my hopes that you will watch it once again from nicholasville kentucky at the bluegrass memorial gardens and mausoleum I will see you again soon.